there was an incident in the Napoli game um, where Napoli scored a goal with Milik and it was called for a foul on Calihon. I don't yes. know if you said I, t- I texted you it. Um, and they the referee, it was... So Handanovic went out for the ball. He got in between Biragi and Calihon, And um, Handanovic fumbled it. Milik put the ball in the back of the net. Before Milik could put the ball in the back of the net, as he was shooting, he the referee blew the whistle. Right. But if you look back on it, you see that Calihon did not touch Handanovic. The no, person who he touched, touched the player, he he, he, he hit Biragi. The of, yes, yes, that's what he, he was, hit. That's what was called. And be, but, that was called. But Biragi is the reason mm-hmm. why Handanovic lost the ball, not Calihon. And either way, I think that these these freaking should have been allowed. Are so number one, number one, the protocol was wrong. Number one, because why the hell are you blowing the whistle before Milik puts the ball in the back of the net? Look, he should have kept one second. One second, he should have kept his whistle down. Let the guy pass the ball into the back of the net so that they could check it to make sure it was a foul. That's number one. Number two, goalkeepers are way too protected. Yeah, they're protected. Today. They are. They are way. It's not that every single time the guy goes up and falls that yeah. it's a foul. It can't be that every single time the right. guy uses his hands. He has an advantage every. But a touch, a touch is a foul today. Yeah. To me, that is that is a goal for Napoli. That is I think not. They called a foul. Based on my understanding, they called a foul because Caleon climbed on the. On, uh, he on, was jumping up for on, the ball. On Biragi and uh, if, if Biragi goes down, he put his but hand right. Let me understand. If Biragi, if Biragi he's changes, he's making a bridge. And goes like this. He's making a What's bridge. What's gonna happen to right. Caleon? It's Caleon's looking for the ball. All three are looking for the ball. Mm-hmm. To me, in my opinion, it's a clear play. Handanovic went up. Biragi hit him, and the ball. And falls. nobody protested. Who protested? Nobody. And well, the, they were arguing, but you can't even check VAR because the guy blew the whistle before the ball correct. went in the back That's of the net. That's wrong. Yeah. That is in wrong. In my opinion, the, these goalkeepers are way too protected. That is as soft as it comes. Never mind. Anyway, sorry. I wanted to bring that up. No, I feel uh, like these the, the goalkeepers are in too much, too much. Every every touch, yeah, I do feel like uh, they blow the whistle and the goalkeeper get always gets the two. And they know, and they know. The goalkeepers know because every freaking yeah. time they go down, but the good they're thing, never going to check it. The good it. thing with this, it's at least consistent. Even though I don't agree with the rule of being too Being protected. consistently wrong is bad. 